What's up guys, this is Jess Trivnan and welcome back to the forest. We are foresting and um, other things that will have to do with the forest. We did a lot of killing last time and I'm, I'm really rather proud of us. I'm going to kill this deer if I can. Ooh. Oh, that was so... I am very, very proud of that one. Very, very proud indeed. Um, <laughs> I have a spear and it doesn't even know what... It doesn't even know what I am. Okay. Um, right, yeah, we, we, we did a lot of things that I, I'm, I'm happy with. We killed a lot of things. And, uh, I mean a lot of things. I, we lost a bunch of bones, because there was a lot of things to fight off at the end of the last episode. I killed them, and then I couldn't be bothered to make anything with them. I mean, like, just after the episode, not necessarily, um, while you guys were watching. Is it me, or did the sky just change? That was a bit sudden. I think, um, I think it might be morning. Good. So, we need to get to a pond. And if I can remember, I think there's a pond all the way down here. And the reason for that is that we are thirsty. Very, very thirsty. But we also need to go and find a turtle and then kill it. And then we'll get back to the other things I want to do this episode. So, I mean, I want to make that dock and then maybe do some boating around the around the, the country or, or island, as some people might choose to call it. And um, then I'd like to get back to the house, honestly, because it's, we've, we've been a while away from home. And um, that's a rock that I can't carry. And uh, I miss it. You know, it's, it's the place where we hang our... Well, we haven't got a hat. It's the, it's the place where we hang our fur boots and our bow, I guess. It's very, um, it's very homely. The last homely house. So, uh, well, certainly is on this island anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to get there. But first we need to find this pond that I've been talking about. It should be all the way over there. It's a real... Oh, oh, okay, okay. That was a really bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take our last drugs. I was going to say, and then I just do it again. I just jump right off the cliff again. Um, I was going to say that uh oh, hey what was i gonna say do you do you remember something about we're being followed by that blackbird something about ponds no more ponds left running out of ponds amy pond um actually it's the only person with the last name pond that i can think of and she's not real um well anyway let's get to a bloody pond oh i was complaining about the fact that i jumped down a cliff and almost killed myself which um it's not recommended, frankly. It's, it's uh, well, I mean, unless you want to do that. But even if you do want to do that, you should probably not do that. Well, uh, anyway, this is probably getting a bit much for a let's play. Oh, here's a pond. Jolly good. Is this a fake pond again? This is a fake pond. You're a fake. You're a phony. You're a phony pond. Fine. Then that means the other pond is just over here somewhere. Just crest this hill. Yeah, there she is. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to drink of this one. Even if it is a little bit of health damage, that's fine. I think we poisoned this lake as well by throwing uh, dead fish into it or something. Oh, no animation played for that one. That's fine by me. And then I think we can... Yeah, we can fill this. I don't know. I'm sure that's good enough. Yeah, right, fine. Um, good, good. Gonna wind my lighters out. Put that away. Let's proceed to the beach along this way. And get a tortoise shell so that we don't have to worry about water as much and I think we're going to keep using the uh, the forest of bones as our camp because it's quite an attractive camp that was cool I, uh, I kind of ramped off that rabbit after I killed it yeah we'll keep using the forest of bone a forest of bones because it's quite an attractive camp we work pretty hard for it I think we deserve it but we do need to set up some stuff if we're going to hang out there for some more logging and I was thinking maybe it's a good strategy to do a huge amount of logging make like seven log sleds and then just run them all to the house at once uh, I don't know Probably though, right? That sounds like a good idea. Whoa. Okay, didn't take any damage that time. Probably should have. That's fine. God, I'm I'm furious right now, and I can tell you exactly why. My caps lock key, caps lock key. I don't know if you pronounce the S. My caps lock key is um, it's it's not stuck on, but the light is stuck on, which is the most. It's just. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm not that furious about it, but it's bothering me a little bit. I can see it. Like I'm looking at my screen, and I can see it. it's here. It's here. It's here if your head was where my head is. So, think about that for a second. Um, we should be able to get a, a, a turtle down here, right? Oh, we're near where I usually build my base. Over there. I guess we'll have to go all the way to the furthest beach. Because actually, that's the only place I've ever seen turtles. Okay, well, we'll also grab a pot because we lost our... Well, I'll have to go around. What's that cave? It's a, it's a glitch cave. Yeah, we'll have to go um, all the way around. You know what would be a sensible idea, actually? I mean, I know I'm skipping them out a bit today, but... What would be a sensible idea is to make the log cabin, or rather not the log cabin, the um, water boat, houseboat, houseboat, uh, on this beach. Because there's lots of trees, it's away from um, where we usually are. It uh, seems like a sensible idea, so I think I'll do that. While we're over here, I will make... I'm going to grab these first, because they're edible. I think these ones are edible, right? 
Yeah, good. Great. And some more. Okay, yeah. Um, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go to the beach, get a turtle shell. See if we can put that turtle shell on our log cabin. Every time I say log cabin, just assume I mean uh, houseboat. Even if I don't. Um, and then if we can't, I'll, either way, I'll, I'll take it with us. Do I have a rabbit fur pouch? Can I make one? Oh, I do have one. Okay. Well then, I'm going to collect these berries. And I should make a point of doing that whenever I see a berry bush. Because we can't do to not have any food anymore. And especially as well, these can um, these can count as water, so that'll be a good emergency situation. Well, no. Emergency, it, it, it won't make it a good emergency situation. It'll unmake a good emergency situation. Which is, um, frankly, better. Okay, let's go down here. Because I think there's some stuff in the boat. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. There's like a, maybe just a piece of rope. A piece of rope. Bit of a weird voice crack there. I am a 13-year-old boy. You've caught me. <laughs> you don't want to catch a 13-year-old boy doing anything. I wish I could upgrade my spear more. I wish I could. There was nothing down here, by the way. There was one piece of rope, and um, I couldn't even fit it in my inventory. So let's just go ahead and climb back up here. But yeah, I wish I could upgrade my spear a little bit more. It's um, it's been uh, it's been faithful to us. It's been a, a good. Oh, that that bird scared me. It scared me enough that I went sideways off the rock. Um, it's been faithful to us. Served us well. Killed a lot of cannibals. And I think that means it deserves some recognition. Oh, the, 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 what's it called? You know, uh, Big Bird in the Sky thing. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on one of these, so I've uh, forgotten what they're called. Planes, that's the one. Let's gather some resources. I, I say that, but I've already started doing it. This will probably help with the, um, well, I didn't mean to stab that. <laughs> Sometimes you're just in a stabby mood. Okay, um, yeah, that'll probably help with the cloth situation. In fact, I can just check that. Yeah, nope, didn't really help at all. That's fine. We'll get some more cloth from somewhere else. This place is starting to feel familiar. I have uh, I have good memories in this area from another lifetime. Long, long ago in the... Oh, maybe I'm in the wrong area, actually. I can't see the big tree. Okay, there it is, yeah. Fond memories from this place from another time. Another another life. How are you doing, buddy? Give it a poke. Good luck. Poke the tree for good luck. You can take that to heart. Live by it. Learn it. Love it. Okay, so first things first, kill a turtle. And I mean, kill a turtle, not not find killer turtles. Although I'm sure they exist. Snapping turtles can can bite a person's hand off, right? Or is that just is that just false? Ah, oh, there's a turtle. Right. I think we long ago discovered that the best way of killing a turtle is with a katana. Like so. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Good. Turtle shell. And this one because it was the um, it was the other one's mate. And I don't want it to go... There you go. I don't want it to go alone. So we'll, we'll throw its shell into the sea. Okay, well, there was lots there. So um, that was that was a wasted killing. But the shell's gone anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, turtle guys. Um, there's a turtle shell. So now we can start chopping down trees. In fact, I should probably place the houseboat first. Then we'll get a sense of how many logs we need. And I do want it to be a houseboat rather than just a little tiny boat. Oh, you have to place it on land first, then push it out. Okay. I guess. 48. We can do that. We can do that. No problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down a bunch of trees and we'll be back when I've done that. Alrighty then. Oh, I've never seen this grave before. I knew there was a grave over there, but I'm so sorry. I just got distracted. Or maybe they just moved the grave. I thought, yeah, they must have just moved the grave because it used to be over there. Right. Am I, am I just very confused? Well, anyway, that's, that's enough. Put the, put the, put the picture away, please. Thank you. So, um, I've cut down a bunch of trees. It didn't take long, just um, a little bit of time. And now we can chuck them all in. They are kind of going nuts, which is not really what you want from your trees. I'm going to try and get the ones that have gone underwater, but I fear that some of them are lost forever. Yeah. Um, can't pick up logs when you're swimming, which is uh, reasonable, I think. I complain a lot about uh, the game design. I don't actually complain a lot about anything. But I do mention game design sometimes, and I feel like this is a fair game design point. It is hard to carry logs while swimming underwater. Okay, yeah, those guys are lost to the abyss. So we'll just put all of these in that we can and we'll see how much we've got here. And then when I get desperate but I'm still too lazy to cut down trees, I will go underwater and see if I can recover those ones. We may as well quickly cook up, cook up some food. Otherwise we will be having some trouble in just a little while. That's a weird way of saying it. Like a pirate Yoda. I thought I saw some enemies. Oh, wow, that's a, that was weird. Not sure quite what happened there. 
getting more phantom logs. Well, I don't think we're ever getting these ones back. Oh, I was able to ballet that one out. That's good. How many more is there? Because if, if we can get them all back from the sea, and that's enough. Uh, 18 more logs. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut them more down. Cut them more down. That's what I said. You better believe it. Okay, there's approximately eight, or or possibly ten. If um, I don't know which trees. Oh, I do know that some trees give you five, and some trees give you four, and I don't think there's any that give you three. But um, I don't know how to identify those trees. Something about which side the moss goes on, or is that? I think that's how you. I think that's how you find direction. I don't know. It was in my mind because I was. I've been listening to the Game of Thrones audiobook lately. Um, very long that thing. Very um, very long. Where's my axe? Took my axe away from me. Yeah, very long thing. Fun though, or, or not fun, but interesting. I mean, I'm basically finding that um, I think I enjoy the series more than the more than the, the books, or rather the audiobooks. Although I'm going to call them the books from now on because audiobooks is a long word. Is that one of my logs flying? It's not. It's a computer. That's okay. Computers are cheap. Logs are expensive in in this dynamic, this world. Yeah. So I think I'm finding the TV series a lot more enjoyable than the books, just because. And maybe it's because I watched the TV series first, but it seems like it's because I'm, um, I think there's too much detail in the books in some ways. I think they're very well written. I keep thinking about them that there's, um, everything's very well foreshadowed. I'm not an author. I'd like to be, but I'm not an author. But it seems like everything's very well foreshadowed. Everything's very detailed. I, I really can imagine these things. But although, although, I don't know how much of that is due to the fact that in some places, I know where things are supposed to be. I know what's supposed to be happening. So when I hear something, I consider that foreshadowing because I know that something similar to that thing is going to happen at some point in the future, if that makes sense. So um, anyway, there's some there's a bit of thing about Game of Thrones for today. Hope you've enjoyed. So I have five more locks. I briefly had to do some maths in my head, and I said I decided that it was either seven or five, so I went for both. So five, five, five. Oh, I'm all out of energy. Okay, let's hope this is five. Actually, I can't remember if I in the end decided that it was five or was seven. So, I mean, we'll see when we get back. One more. Um, let's see if we can get one in the water. We can't see anything in the water. <laughs> let's get out of the water. There must be one log around here somewhere that I've missed. I don't want to cut down a whole tree for a log. Not environmentally sound. It's actually also, I just can't be bothered to. And I don't want to, I hate keeping my back to the forest. Let's throw this stone. That should help things a lot. All right, fine. Let's get down another tree. While I'm waiting for my stamina to come back, I'll build a small fire here. Foresting at night is the worst. Awful. I just, I can just feel them all behind me. We've already left enough logs around here. I'm not worried about what three more logs floating about. I do wonder if it might cause some issues in the game. Okay. So. There's a houseboat. Let's push it off. Yeah, good. And then let's quickly run and get that... Um, Kill that. Well, I didn't kill that turtle. Wait, let's just see if we can build on the house. About my, my guess is no. Yeah, the answer is no. Okay, good. Uh, good to know. So let's get that pot. Also, um, any other resources? Oh, we can't carry more sucker beds. Yeah, any more resources that we come across, I'll also grab. Because now we have an escape. Okay, actually, I think if we just find a lot of booze, we'll have loads of explosive fodder. And I should probably make all the explosives I can while I'm on this beach, so I don't have to come back and get them at any point in the future. Might be sensible, because I think that the best place to find booze is, is this beach, actually. Well, excluding the caves. Okay, well, that's booze filled up. You know what? I'm going to do that now. Let's craft up some bombs. Probably shouldn't say that on YouTube. Or anywhere, really, nowadays. Not that there was any time ever where it was, it was an okay thing to say. Maybe in a war. Maybe in a war. We've got a lot of dark places this episode. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking around. Please don't leave me. Put the bombs on there like that. Keep going. Oh, that's enough bombs. Now we can just pick up pick up any booze that we come across. Bombs and booze, always a safe combination. Very um very wise for those who do it. I guess if you if you are gonna be making bombs, I probably want you to be drinking. Alright, we filled up on bombs. Uh, we need to pick up some more booze if we see them. Just need to climb up here. Oh, there's lots of marigolds to be got on here, so I think I'll probably grab them. It'd be nice if I could just wait for my energy to come back. Oh, we're hungry and thirsty as well, I hadn't noticed. Okay, well, we'll just bring the... We're just going to bring the, the boat back, and then we're, we'll be mostly done. Don't think you can put uh, beds on the boat. Don't know about it, actually, though, honestly. It may be the case that there's a pot, another pot closer to the, the base, but I don't know about it. So I know that you can get a pot from here. That's why I thought, well, while we're here, let's grab a pot. There we go. Oh, white ones are poisonous, I think. Oh! Um, 
I'd rather not do any fighting. I'd rather actually just get to the just get to the the house boat, house boat. If we're gonna have to, just in case we're gonna have to fight though, let's um, eat all the berries we collected. We can get more. Looks like they're not coming after us though, which is which is the best version. And just in case, I'm gonna throw them a ball. Wow, that was the worst throw ever. How the hell did that happen? Almost hit a bird. And now we can just jump in our houseboat and be off. I'd like to get in it without touching the water. I still touch the water. Am I got the cold and wet status now? No, it looks like I'm okay. How do I navigate this thing? Oh, I see. It's quite slow to turn. This is rather nice, rather scenic. I'm actually trying to turn around, but really in the end what I'm doing is... Um, well, I don't feel like I'm turning much. Because I need to point in that direction. I think it's applied like a fisheye lens thing to my camera. Or maybe I'm just not used to moving this smoothly. Because it does feel like there's something off. Also hard to say where I'm pointing. Like I feel like I should be going in that direction where my camera's going. But really I think I've got to angle the boat. I really feel like this should be rowed backwards. I can't see anything because of the side of the, the boat. I'm going to row myself out into no man's land. I have to peek through the edge of this boat to do it. All right, we're just coming into port now um, with <laughs> some amount of difficulty because seemingly this thing is rowed backwards or, or paddled backwards. I don't really know what the term is, honestly, because I can't see where we're going. This, this, this frankly, it's a little odd, but I mean, I'm going to leave it here and oh, that's not really, it's not really far enough, is it? I mean, I just, I feel like there's been some mishap in, in, in the placement of these of these oars and now I can't get to my I can't get to my dock. Alright, that's gotta be um that's gotta be good enough for a for a dock. Let's um oh no it's gonna drift away. Are you are you gonna stay there? Maybe I'll have to get out and push it. That's fine. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, we'll um I guess we'll leave it there. I'm not quite happy with the house belt honestly. It took me maybe a half an hour to row it back here, maybe less. So <laughs> it doesn't really serve the function. It serves a function, just it's not as functional as I guess I'd like. So, what are we going to do? I would like to put another small boat there for, for other uses. And then I'd also like to finish the dock. So we're going to go up here to our other hold, our hold fast, our steadfast house, whatever we want to call it. The forest of bones, I think I mentioned it. Uh, and then we're going to put the tortoise shell down. So we've got a tortoise shell, or, or is it a turtle? I think tortoise is the one with the feet, right? Turtles have flippers, tortoises have feet. Who knows? Um, probably biologists. So we're going to go back here and put that down. Like, um, wait for it. Um, probably on the inside, over here. Like so. You'd think that wouldn't be particularly effective at gathering water, considering um, it's on a slant. You'd think the water would just run out. But, well, we'll see. And then we're also going to put down a drying rack. I killed those two deer. Oh, one deer. That one survived. Basically by accident. They were in the way of a stick that I was trying to get. Uh, they didn't move, so what am I to do about that? I guess I could just not swing the axe, but who wants that? Okay, now we're going to hang all our meat. I'll probably drop the... Let's take it over here and drop it. And I'll have to cook this one on the fire, otherwise we're going to... Can I get over my fence, please? Really? I mean, I guess it, this is what a fence is for, but I, I really thought I could jump over it. Okay, I guess we're going around. Yeah, there's still a fire here, so that's, that's pretty good. Okay, um, I'm going to save. And then we're going to build a small permanent house here. The, uh, the hunting lodge. I'd like to build something a bit more um, extravagant, like a small cabin or something. But I don't want to spend the time getting 13 logs. I definitely don't want to spend the time getting 82 logs. So uh, I'm sure this, I think a small hunting, uh, hunting thing will be fine. Because, I mean, that's basically what this is, a, a hunting kind of camp. I just heard the all too familiar sounds of mutant babies. I don't see them yet, though, but I definitely heard them. Unless crows have started going, <coughs> uh, Maybe that wasn't the best impre impression. It should have been higher pitched, I guess. But I'm not really good at impressions. I'll tell you what I am good at, though. I'm good at mutant killing. I wouldn't even say that's necessarily true, actually. I think it's not that I'm a good mutant killer. It's that they're bad fighters, generally speaking. Oh, I need more logs. I thought I thought I was... Um, yeah, this one probably got a lot. I thought it was actually just sticks and stones that I needed left. Somehow I forgot that there was logs, even though you can clearly see the logs. I feel like seven logs for this is quite excessive. It should really be three. 
Oh, oh, I can lure him. Oh, no, he can't. I was going to say I can lure him in here and then kill him, but he can just run through the fence. Alrighty, this is almost there. Well, I guess it does look like there's a lot more than I thought there were. You're still sleeping on the floor. How much protection from the rain can this really give you? Don't you dare! Okay, good. I thought I was going to lose a fence then. I should have considered that before I did that, really, but... um, Who's got the time? Okay, uh, there's those done. And I'd like to try... I mean, since we're here, I'd like to try something. I want to see if I can perhaps build just one spike of custom wall. Apparently, I think you have to take it out quite far before it... Um, before it decides you can do it. I really wanted to bring it to here though. Like just to have, have one pole. Maybe I can do that with the custom foundation. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Oh well. I really wanted to have just like two big long poles of wood. Here. Not that tall but. Oh. That is an enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and equip this. And then turn to face them. I heard them. You can't tell me they're not there. Maybe they just came to see the little bird tornado that's going on over there? No, didn't get the deer. I definitely heard some giggling though, some ominous giggling. I guess there's nothing. I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, there's, I just saw one while I was knocking down the thing. Yeah, there's two. Should build some traps. I'm going to fight through the night and then in the morning we're going to finish off the dock. Since we have the extra logs just hanging about here. And we're not under attack right now. I'm going to go ahead and build... It's just two logs, I think. Or maybe it's even... No, it's two logs. Go and build a little garden. Plant up some seeds. Only got two seeds. Interesting. I've noticed that those cannibals avoided my encampment, which is odd. I'm just uh, grabbing some logs. I want to make it... Not logs. Stones. Almost the opposite of logs. I've noticed they avoided my encampment. I wonder if it's, it's the bones. Or it's just they didn't see me. Or, third thing... They know that a bigger cannibal is going to kill me and they didn't want to get involved in that nonsense. It could be any of those things. I'm not going to like that yet because I'd like to um, to use it. I thought I'd drop this. I must have forgotten to put them on the on the rack because I was busy being... Oh, yeah, there's, there they are. I haven't eaten. I have got a few things to eat. Oh, and I've got, I can drink my dirty pouch water. Oh, yeah, there's the torch. Did I step in the fire? Oh, no, it's, I drank some dirty water. That's it. Well, I don't like the fire, because that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to cook up the meat, I think. So I'm going to eat some um, spoiled meat, which I'm sure is it's just very good for the health. Cooking it should fix that, though, right? I really feel like it should. I'm not being sarcastic. I really feel like cooking it. Oh, never mind. This one's done. That was quick. Maybe I should sleep and save it till morning. Well, I ate the spoiled meat anyway, and I suffered because of it. So let's. I'm not going to cut down the trees around our base, because that seems inherently foolish go and some more rabbit oh i should put that on the drying rack right now just so that it's there next time we need it i can drop this down the hill and i'll start cutting down um yeah this one's fine well maybe it's not about such a bad idea to cut down trees near our base because then we would be protected from climbing mutants and also be able to see them better but well i like having them there and just set these rolling off down the hill i think and without that shouldn't cause any real problem I'll probably just follow them behind, chopping more trees down on my way. And that way I can keep an eye on them, make sure they don't fall anywhere that I don't want them. Like, for example, in the sea. Probably put a lighter away since we have the sun now. Which is the world's the world's best lighter, probably. Probably. Oh! Yeah, I get it. You're a nutter. Uh. Did it talk? It just said what? Is there another one? He hit me. Oh, there is a second one. Okay, good. Well, she's run off. Let's go chuck this guy in the fire and collect his bones. But I really feel like he, he managed to hit me a few more times than I'm used to, which is... Um, that was a uh, a loss of footage there. I um, I forgot to check my hard drive again for the like fifth time this week. Um, now you have a little uh, a bit of an idea about why the episode was late today. Um, and, uh, well, anyway, let's finish the, the dock and commit to checking more often how much space is on our hard drive let's face it that's not gonna happen is it <laughs> i need to buy a bigger hard drive uh, i probably will at some point i'm i'm constantly flabbergasted by that's a nice word by the amount of space that just recording for like an hour and a half takes 
I, I usually record double. So if I um, if it's a half an hour long let's play, I've been recording for at least an hour, which which like a hundred gigabytes or something per per half an hour of footage is crazy, crazy, crazy. But then again, even though I love computers, I love technology, I, I love using those things. I just have no comprehension whatsoever. It may as well be um, magic and fairies, although I guess I'm just a tiny bit better than than my mum, who, um, for example, um, <laughs> she copies and pastes things on her phone. When she copies and pastes things on her phone, she she copies them with one finger, lifts that finger off the phone, uh, holds it in the air, and then pastes it with the same finger as if she was holding the thing physically on her finger, which frankly, it's great. And I guess that's how it's gonna work one day. It's kind of intuitive, but still I find it hilarious and really adorable. Um, bless her cotton fluffy socks. But there you go, there you go. I've criticized someone else's technological abilities in order to, to just put mine in a better light which is um, awfully self-centered, especially considering that the person I was criticizing was my own my own dear mother. So um, that's probably why I end up on this deserted island, or well, not deserted, cannibal-ridden island. Deserted would be a, a benefit right now. So yeah, let's, um, I've actually finished the dock. I did lose some footage and it was in the process of making the dock. So I don't know that how much you guys, well, I do know how much you guys saw and I know that you missed me putting some logs in there and possibly fighting a cannibal and maybe making some armor. But, um, hey, don't worry about it. Right, these logs are going in the wrong direction. Clearly against gravity. There we go. That should actually be fine. I'm going to grab these two and put them in. And I'll come back for the rest. And they'll hopefully have moved closer by then. We're actually almost finished with the dock. If we've got extra logs, I will use them to build something else in this area. Because um, it won't hurt. And I like the idea that um, we're gradually building use useful structures around the island. Did you know this is... Um, this is actually our 16th day in the forest in this in this series not like not even counting the the days from the previous series the the, the days since i started a new game it's been 16. it's crazy i haven't entered the caves once and that's because i guess we've been focused on building so that's maybe why we've slowed the progression of the the cannibal attacks a little bit although they are really starting to ramp up but um also i've never i've never lived to 16 days i've never lived um this far into a game so I don't know what's going to happen really but I'm guessing it just gets worse and worse and worse to a certain point because I'm not expecting any different kinds of mutants to come out now I think I've probably seen everything the game has to offer me in that regard although I could be wrong and I could be terrified by what's um, what's coming next like I know there's blue armsies for example I think there's blue armsies or blue legsies or or something like that anyway so there's the there's the armsies the legsies the fat guys and then there's a secret red man who's sometimes on the boat but he doesn't really attack this dock works like a charm you have to jump the last bit and and you can't there's no way of um successfully navigating into, into the dock there we go yeah i like it okay no we still we still went went really on the dock i mean i like the dock i don't like the boat god it's so difficult yeah well fine the dock serves really no, no purpose. It looks good. It serves no purpose, but it looks good. Like, I can do this. There we go. Took a lovely uh, lovely picture for the screenshot. So there you go. That's the purpose it serves. So, um, just because there's about five or six minutes left to fill. Not like to fill, like, hurry up and get over with, but rather to, um, although I am filming at 1am, so. Um, there's a little bit of time left to, left to cover. So I think maybe we'll make just some additions to our base and if we can find the sticks and there's, lo there's lots of sticks in the area if we can find the sticks i'd like to make several log sleds and then um i'm going to gradually fill them up and run them all to the, the house so that we can speed up our development of the house first off though i think i need to yeah i need to eat and it might not be a bad idea to uh to do a little bit of hunting too but we can probably do those things all at the same time Tell you what, if I'm going to build log sleds, I'm going to build them somewhere over there where there's, um, there's a little hollow in the tree. So for now, uh, not hollow in the tree, hollow in the land, like um, a place for trees to roll down the hill towards to save me the hassle of... Uh... I was thinking, I, I know I said that I would make some additions to this area, but it's getting to the point where the, the additions are odd. Like this garden doesn't really make sense here, but... Um, yeah, okay, so I'm actually just going to leave this how it is. I will do the thing I said about hunting, though. 
well, I'll, I'll try my best. Kind of ended up just hunting for sticks. Well, that's fine. All right, let's go over here to this kind of valley-ish area. As close to the other base as possible. In fact, yeah, I think this is the... Um, oh, those are enemies. I think this is the hill that the base sits on. If we go over there, I think that's the, the, the tree fort. So, um, well, it's not much of a fort, really. It's just a, it's just a, a house on a, in a tree. Yeah, okay, so we'll be here. We'll go over here. And I think for, for today, we can just save at our, at our traditional base. I'll go over here at the bottom of these this hill and uh, make a bunch of log sleds. Or as many as, as possible, anyway. Okay, three is probably fine, because that's coming up on um, 100 sticks, apparently. Well, that doesn't seem to make sense to me, so I'm, I'm guessing there's um, some calculation errors going on there. Then again, it's my tendency to, to blame maths whenever I'm confused, so... So, um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's necessarily true. There are some spears here. I, I wish I could snap the Schmidt spears up and use them as uh, sticks, because we could actually use the logs a lot better, a lot more, and we could use more spears. Oh, I didn't really mean to, to drive this log sled, especially not with cannibals about. Wow, that guy was close. Yeah, okay. Enough of your funny business, mister. There's several of them, and they're all up to funny business. That was a long croak. I hope you enjoyed it. Could you croak your last croak? And now I have a reason to build a small fire. I'd rather not go back to the base before we finish this. Just because, you know, once it's done, it's done. And I'm, I'm being efficient here. I'm using my spear so that if we get attacked again, I, I've already got it out. you got to think ahead of them, you know? You've got you to outthink the cannibals. They, uh, they don't think to use weapons, so we'll use our weapons for inappropriate purposes. Oh, my God! Were you eating someone? I really think he was eating someone. He was just sat there. What were you doing? What are you thinking, cannibal man? Have we got much cloth? We haven't really got enough cloth, but I feel justified in building much more bone armor. If we pick up one more bone, we can um, put these bones in our inventory to good use. Because we could use actually one more piece of bone armor. I think I just put some deer hide on as well, which is fine. And uh, if we get much more attacks, I will build... Firstly, I'll cook this. If we get much more attacks, I will build a, uh, a bone fence with it. With them, rather. God, it seems like we get to make one run for sticks and then we have to come back and fight again. Although the cannibals have taken to just waiting for me to kill them. Like, they no longer attempt to fight back. They just stand there while I stab them. Which is, I guess, reasonable. Well, I, I, I certainly prefer it to having to put much effort into the fight anyway. Maybe after I've killed enough of them, they will understand finally that all I want is um, peace and love. But that I can only... Oh! I can only think to show them that with my spear. That sounds like more than just one. There's that one. Oh, there's, there's two. There's there's a girl one, and then there's a boy one somewhere. Yeah, there's the boy one. Oh, that's a deer. I thought I heard a boy one. Put some clothes on a naked woman. It's indecent. It's absolutely indecent. I am absolutely not okay with it. That's not true, actually. I'm fine with it. If you want to walk around naked, that's cool with me. So long as, you know, it's not you're not smelly or anything like that. And also that you're not sitting on my couch naked. Not that I have a couch, but if I did, if I did, you wouldn't be allowed on it naked. Unless you were really, really cleanly and you had, um, like, pocket wipes with you. Then I'm cool with it. I'm cool with just about anything so long as you've got pocket wipes with, wipes with you. If you've got pocket wipes... If you, as a habit, have pocket wipes with you, you're probably sort of a together kind of person. And I like that. Because I'm not. So I figured I may as well put these bones to use again. Just while we're, we're here. Since I keep seeing more and more cannibals about, it looks like um, there's not going to be a stop to them anytime soon. It's a shame we're not able to drink from this pond because then that would have been a really, this would have made this a really excellent camp as it stands. It's just a little bit short. Okay, there's one more. Uh, where's my spear? 
I lost my good spear. I don't know where my spear went. And that really bothers me, especially with all this fighting to do. I'm guessing it bugged out. It's a really unfortunate bug. I feel like I'm slow. God, it took ages to kill this guy with an old spear. Yeah, come around here and face me like a man. Or face me like a, a cannibal. Wow, the weak spear actually gets loads of teeth out of them. I'm not looking for teeth, but the weak spear does get loads of teeth out of them. I wonder if I can... I can never pick teeth up. I always see them fall on the floor, but I guess you have to pick them up as they drop. I need to upgrade this spear quickly. Which is good timing, because this guy just fell apart. Okay, there you go. And I'll actually just pick up a spare spear now, and hopefully that won't have lost me my, my usual spear. Shane, that spear had, uh, had been with us a long time, I think. Let's finish off this last one. Not too many sticks to go. I don't know what the carrying capacity of, of, of me is, but I've got ten more sticks left. Sorry. I think um, once I've gathered all of these, I think ten seems like a... Oh. Yeah, lots of them. Ten seems like a reasonable carrying capacity, so I think once I filled myself up with sticks, which sounds awful, I will be good to go on, on the um, the construction of log sleggeds front. Log sleggeds? Maybe they just ran past it. Hey, what's that what's that big wall that what seemingly is um, human bones? I dunno. Probably nothing. Let's keep going. Then again, I suppose cannibals are quite used to seeing human bones. They are um cannibals after all. They're not, they don't tend to be a squeamish sort, but, you know, I don't know. Alright, that's that one done. There's one more cannibal corpse, or was one more cannibal corpse, it's now bones. And I can just quickly, um, it looks like I won't finish the fence, that's fine. The fence was only to, like, have something to do with the bones. So that's good. I'm kind of wishing to be attacked just one more time. Alright, then let's make our way back to the, um, the, the base base, the old base. The old tree base. And uh, from there we'll say goodbye. But I think we've done a lot this episode. We've done a little bit of sailing. We've made a, a whole houseboat and a dock. And um, solidified our position at the camp. Which is always a good thing. Um, we will do more sailing in future. And we will do more with that camp in future probably. It does seem like a great place to, to start. If we want to do anything in that area. But uh, we've also made those three log sleds. And soon we will be using them to make really efficient runs keep thinking I yeah I did see something over there turn that lighter off really efficient runs of resources up to the house so um yeah we'll do that next episode but for now thank you very much for watching this has been gesture of them I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you've got any ideas suggestions requests comments theories um whatever you want to do that's okay with me um thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time